Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use React Smooth Scrolling. It's a package that we're gonna install. So this is a financial website that I built in a previous tutorial, and I'll be sure to link that in the description below. If you wanna learn how to build this from the beginning, then make sure you click on that so you can watch it. Um, but what we're gonna do, uh, notice how you click on um, the About link up here. It smoothly scrolls down to the About section. Same with the Testimonials, and then also the Demo section as well. Um, I just think it looks a little bit nicer. And uh, so how we're gonna do this is um, we're gonna go into our VS Code editor here. And uh, again, here's the link. It's in the description below. If you wanna clone this um, from our repository, you can just click here and there's a link to clone it. Or if you wanna build this in your own application, then that's great as well. Um, but here we are. Here we are, I've just cloned it. And uh, if you do clone it, make sure you type npm i uh, to install all the uh, packages here that are missing. And that should just take a moment. So yeah, be sure if you want to learn how to build this uh, from the beginning, uh, uh, right along with me, then make sure you uh, check out that link below. Should be just about finished. Okay, now we can type npm start. And that's going to start our development server. Yes. So here it is. And the header here at the top is just going to be a black background, but here's what it looks like right now. We click the about link and it just jumps down to that section and we want it to do the smooth scrolling like this. Okay. So the way we do this in react, let's go back to our um, code editor here. We can close, oh, sorry, close the, keep the terminal open. We want to disconnect our server here and we're going to go here to Google and we're going to go to npmjs.com. And for the NPM package we're gonna use is called React Scroll. Should be the first one. Here it is. And we're just gonna type NPM I React Scroll to start it. It's not loading for some reason. What's going on? React Scroll component. That's not what we want. There it is. Okay, you guys. So npm install react scroll. Let's go back here. Paste it. There we go. Should be real quick. There it is. Okay. So we are going to be working out of the source folder components navbar.js and also the navbar.css. So let's go ahead and start our development server back up. And in here has just a lot of great information about the package here. We're not gonna use very much of it at all. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use. Uh, basically this right here. So let's go in, oh yes. Let's go into our navbar.js and we want to import it like so. So import, put in curly brackets, link from React scroll, not scripts. Scroll. There we go. Okay. So let's go back and I'm just going to copy this down here just to make it easy. And we're not going to use a lot of this. Okay. Actually not even going to use that active class. So just this right here. Back in here. And okay. Instead of these a tags and the href, these are going to be links. So link. And that should auto close it for you at the end. I'm going to paste that in. The two is what we're going to use the spy smooth offset and duration. And of course this on click from what we previously coded, but we don't want this point to test one. Uh, the two, the two tag here is just like uh, the H ref and an a tag. So we want this to go to the home and then down here, actually we're going to change that in the future. Let's do the same thing here. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here, but this is the about. So about and about, and that will do that one as well. Testimonials, this is gonna be testimonials, testimonials, and then down here, demo. All right. All right, there we go. And this is actually, we're gonna change this to hero, okay? 
And let's go into our hero.js and just give this an ID. There we go. Okay. That'll fix that. So, and uh, see here, and our navbar.js, actually, let's go in our navbar.css, okay? So uh, this should be all we need to do. I'll refresh there, click the about. Okay, there, perfect. It works just like it should. However, we're gonna have to play with the offset because you notice we click testimonials and it's kind of way down here. So let's go back and have a look at that. Let's change this. I'm gonna make this one 100. Might have to do negative. Oh, this duration. 100. 100. Make this one like. Actually, these might have to be a negative. Okay, let's check this out. It might take some uh, playing with you guys. Also, let's do the logo there as well for smooth scrolling. So, okay, nothing happens there. That's right. Click the about. That looks pretty good. Testimonials, I think that looks great. Let's do the home the or the the link there as well. So here's our a tag, and basically our image is in here. So send type link. We're gonna say to uh, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's um, add an active class because just like this hover effect here with the padding, the yellow bar at the bottom, as we scroll down, I want the bar to appear as we scroll over that section. So let's go back in here, navbar.css. And down here, we can actually just copy this right here because that's the hover effect. We want the exact same thing. And the class name is nav item. Let's give it active, okay. Paste that in. And the secondary uh, color variable here we're using CSS variables in case you didn't follow along from the um, original tutorial, tutorial if you just cloned it. We're using CSS variables. So that's that's what the color is right there. So that should be it, you guys. Let's see. About, let's scroll down. Boom, changes to the about and then testimonials. Okay, perfect, you guys. So yeah, that's how we do React uh, smooth scrolling for your application here. Um, I hope you liked it if you learned something. I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be putting out some more content just like this one. So uh, let me know what you want to see. If you want to see some more React content or some other technologies, I'll be happy to post some more videos. I look forward to seeing you in the near future. And thank you for checking this out.